Hey guys, TJ here, and welcome back to another video. What you see here is the small castle of Bloodstone, which I built earlier this year. From its lonely hill it looks over, well, absolutely nothing at the moment. So you might already expect it, but in today's video I will be building a medieval fantasy village in the same style as this keep. Additionally, the village will include a couple of beautiful custom rose fields, a church, square, tavern and much more. Before we start, this castle will be up for download once my channel hits 2000 subscribers and this video 200 likes. Today's speed build took incredibly long to make, so be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet to let me know you enjoy my work. I will upload more speed building videos like this quite soon that you don't want to miss out on. Anyway, let's get into the video. So first off we are going to make some alterations to the bare fields we have in front of us. I smoothed the terrain a little bit, relocated the small creek and removed all of the flowers and plants to make building more easy. After that was done, it was time to plan the village. Although this time I decided to not instantly plan the whole village, but plan a small part first. I did this because at the moment I had no idea how the houses were exactly going to look like. And this turned out to be a very tedious part of today's build. I spent literally an entire evening on coming up with a house design. <laughs> Don't ask me why, let's say it wasn't my best day. Anyway, at the end of the day, I did manage to come up with a suitable design. The style is kind of the same as the structures I built in the lake video, although I did make a lot of tweaks all around the building, and of course the roof is totally different. With the first house finished, it was time for the second one, which was going to be the tavern of the village. I thought it would be a logical choice to build this at the entrance of the settlement, so travelers can easily reach the tavern without having to walk through the entire town. After finishing the first part of the village and established how I wanted everything to look like, I started planning the rest of the settlement. For the town square I had a very simple idea. I wanted one large main building at the center and some smaller buildings on the sides. Within these smaller buildings I would be placing a few stores and merchants. As one of the bigger settlements situated on a route between the cities of Hamilton and Skyli, the town has become a very popular place for travelers to rest. When I had finished all of the houses around the square, I was not entirely satisfied with the size of it. It was too small. To fix this, I made some changes in the layout of the village, which worked out way better in my opinion. For a very long time, Rosefolk and the Castle of Bloodstone have been the seat of House Rosendale until they moved to the capital city of Hemington. The town was well known in the region for the large scale production of roses, dyes and fruits. And to this date, that hasn't changed. Next up, it was time for the most notable building of the town. The church. As some of you already know, I love building churches. I've built a lot of them and also for this build, it was my favorite part of the project. Thank you. 
With the church also finished, all that was left to do for the village itself was to build all of the remaining standard houses as well as the decoration of the town. On the southern side of the village I decided to also build a small docking area, since the town is situated next to the largest river of our world, the Meridian. To fill up the empty space between the port and the church I also built a tiny graveyard area. After having finally finished the entire village itself, it was time for the famous fields. Of course I was not going to randomly place roses all over the fields, instead I was going to create my own custom rose fields. Like I also said in my other medieval village speed build, custom fields are a recipe for a nice and original result. And yes, I did also build a small standard wheat field here and there, but that was also to add some more variation to the terrain. And of course these lands are very fertile, so it would be a little bit illogical if they didn't also grow some crops to feed the residents of the village. The name Bloodstone derives from a ruby found in the nearby mountains, which according to legend protects the valley of Rosefolk from disasters. Currently the stone is being kept and protected within the keep. In the middle of the fields on the southwestern side I built the main working station where they would store and cook most of the harvested roses and turn them into dye. Sadly though, the replay file of me building this part of the field got corrupted. So yeah, that, that really sucks, but it is what it is. We have finally finished the town. Enjoy the cinematic. If you did enjoy today's video then please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I will release the castle of bloodstone if this video hits 200 likes and my channel 2000 subscribers. Anyway, have a very nice day and see you next time, bye bye.